This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. Union Minister for Development of Northeastern Region Jitendra Singh yesterday lauded states in the Northeast for better COVID-19 management and said that five out of eight states in the region had remained COVID-19 free during the lockdown. Positive cases were detected in these states only after allowing the movement of people. He also said that sufficient supply of oxygen had been made available well in advance to all peripheral territories, including the northeastern states and Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. The union minister lauded the good work done by the state governments as well as the civil society when Meghalaya Health Minister Ail Heck called on him in New Delhi yesterday and discussed various issues related to the pandemic. He also said that the countrywide surveys conducted by impartial agencies have also testified this. Mr. Singh appreciated Meghalaya and other state governments for taking proactive steps from the beginning to break the transmission chain and strengthen the existing health systems to meet any surge in cases. In Meghalaya, students of upper primary schools from classes 8, 6 to 8 will be allowed to visit their schools from the 15th of this month to consult with their teachers as being done for students of secondary and higher secondary schools. After discussing the issue in a review meeting yesterday, Education Minister Lakman Rimboy said that the government would also take a decision on reopening of schools for regular classes next week. The Director of School Education is taking feedbacks from teachers, parents and COVID-19 committees on reopening of schools so that the State Education Department can take a call soon. Taking feedback is necessary in view of the COVID situation as there are some places identified as hotspots and many places have no COVID cases. The Assam government has decided not to hire private parties anymore in the government recruitment process. The Council of Ministers, headed by Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal, took this decision in Guwahati yesterday following the leakage of a written examination paper for the post of sub-inspectors recently. It was decided that the recruitment would be conducted either by the concerned department or universities. The cabinet also decided to regularize 4,534 teachers' posts. The Cabinet also recommended to the State Election Commission to hold the Bodoland Territorial Council polls in December. The Assam Government will also bring in an ordinance to accord Bodo the status of Associate Official Language of the State. A, div <coughs> A division bench of the Tripura High Court has said that the people of the state should not be under any false impression that there is dramatic improvement in the COVID-19 situation and life can get back to normal. The court's observation came following an action taken report submitted by the Tripura government. Meanwhile, Tripura recorded 275 fresh COVID-19 positive cases in the past 24 hours and 492 patients were discharged after recovery. The total number of infected people now stands at 27,308, out of which 22,600 persons have recovered, while 4,384 patients are undergoing treatment. In Meghalaya, at least 128 people tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday, pushing the tally to 7,165. The state has 60 deaths so far and 2,411 active cases. Altogether, 88 patients have recovered, increasing the recovery cases to 4,694. Nagaland reported 53 fresh cases of COVID-19, taking the total caseload to 6,715. 36 patients were also discharged. With this, the total recovered cases in the state stands at 5,444, while there are 1,194 active cases. In Manipur, two males expired due to COVID-19 positive in the past 24 hours, increasing the total fatality to 80. On the other hand, 249 people, including six personnel of the Central Armed Police Force, were confirmed as new COVID-19 positive cases in Manipur, making the total count of positive cases to 12,489. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal yesterday said that the forest cover in the state would increase by an additional 2,000 square kilometers in future. Speaking at the concluding ceremony of the 66th Wildlife Week, Sonowal said, Assam, which is famous for its clean and green ambience, will re-strengthen itself with this new addition. The recorded forest area of the state is 26,832 square kilometers, accounting for 34.21% of its geographical area. Speaking on the occasion, Assam Environment and Forest Minister Porimal Shuklabaitya said that the state government has already planted eight cross saplings to contribute to the green coverage of the state. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.